Hi folks, Terry Austin from Intelligent Electrons here with a little pro tip for instructors keeping a gradebook in Apple's numbers spreadsheet. I've got some sample grade data here for a few uh, hypothetical exams and I'd like to show you how to make this a little bit more lively, a little easier to read. First thing I want to do is I want to select the range of cells that have got my grades in them and then we're going to do a little formatting here. I'm actually going to format the cells themselves so I'll click on the cell tab and what I want to apply here is known as conditional highlighting. That button is right here. And I'm going to add in a few rules and you'll see how this gradebook uh, sort of springs to life as we look at it. Uh, we can do several things here. Uh, I'm going to be working with numbers, but you can also do text and dates, durations and uh, other things here. I'm going to start off by finding all of my students who have grades that would be an F. So I'm going to say anything that is less than or equal to a 59 is going to get filled in in red. I'm going to add in one rule and you'll see these already begin to apply. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is say between. So let's say things that are between 60 and 69 are going to get, let's see, my D students. Let's do orange for those guys. We'll add in another rule. Again, I'm going to do between two numbers. Let's do my C student. So 70 through 79. Let's make those folks yellow. We'll add in another rule for anybody who's between 80 and 89. Those will become blue. We'll add one last rule to find my A grades for people who are greater than or equal to a 90. Add that rule. I'll close down my formatting tab. And you can see that gradebook is much, much easier to read. You can sort of see at a glance whenever you've got a student doing really well, when there's a student in trouble, or when there's a student with a little bit uh, of erratic behavior. Uh, so there you go. That is conditional formatting in numbers. I hope you find this helpful. Check back later. You may find more interesting tips.